Have you ever wondered why people close their eyes when they pray? Well, I was curious why people do it. So I found this article that explains pretty much what I was looking for. And I'm going to tell you all about it right after this. So I found this article on why people pray when they close their eyes on HowStuffWorks.com. And the article was written by Lori L. Duff. And I'll leave a link in the description for you to read the article yourself. And the article goes like this. Prayer is an integral part of many religions and cultures. It can be a plea for aid, an expression of gratitude, a way of worshiping, and a means to find fellowship with others. Along with the many iterations of prayer, there are many rituals that surround the act of prayer. One of the most prevalent is to close in of one's eyes. So why do so many people close their eyes to pray? In the Bible, there are description of prayer made when standing, sitting, kneeling, or with your arm raised. Yet, there aren't any verses in the Bible that insist the eyelids shut during prayer. There are, however, a number of verses that describe praying in private, which may offer a clue for many. A prayer is a private matter, an intercession between a person and God or a higher power. Closing your eyes as you do, it is a way of blocking out distraction and focus on the conversation. Instead of using your eyes to communicate with others, you shut them and turn your thoughts inward. By closing your eyes during prayer, you may be continuing a ritual whose roots are deeply stemmed in history. A long ago, looking directly at a king or any ruler was considered an insolent. The proper response when appearing before the ruler was to close your eyes or, if you were really feeling daring, look downward. Failing to do so could launch an unfortunate change of event that might end up in a sleepover in the dungeon or a date with the guillotine. Adopting a differential pose, in other words, closing your eyes, during prayer became the appropriate way of showing humility, something that's especially important when asking for mercy. Today, it's a common posture for prayers of all kinds. So that's what I found out the reason why people started closing their eyes when prayer. Was it always that way or was it something that started off somewhere in time? I was just curious and I went and did my research and that's what I found out. So if you were ever curious why people close their eyes when they pray, now you know. But not everybody closes their eyes. I see it at many events that people don't close their eyes. Sometimes I do myself and sometimes I don't. But whether you close your eyes or not, as long as you get in that connection with the higher power, then it's all good. There's not really a rule that says you have to close your eyes. Some people need to close their eyes because it eliminates those distractions. People who get less distracted, I guess they don't need to close their eyes and that's the reason why they don't. But you're not doing anything wrong if you don't close your eyes. It's perfectly okay either way. As long as you're communicating with the Father above and you are having that private conversation. Alright, so thanks for tuning in and make sure you stick around for the next topic that I'll cover on this channel. And in order not to miss that topic, you want to make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I release that next video on the topic that might interest you. Because this is what this channel is all about. It's all about unleashing your mind and open it up a little bit and present some things to you that you might have been curious about but never took the time to research it and find out what it's all about. So that's what I'm here for. I'm the one that's going to deliver the message to you because there's a lot of things in life, in nature, and everything else above and beyond. I'm curious about and I do some research on them and I will bring them to you so you'll know what they're all about. All right? So that's my offering. That's what I'm bringing to this channel and uh, look forward to see you next time. Have a good one.